Hello and welcome to Robot Masters. In this video, it's a head-to-head -head competition against the i7 versus the S9. It's a two-part video. First part showing an open cleaning run. Second part showing the navigation abilities of the two robots. So I set both robots to a single pass. The i7 is on its single power mode and the S9 is set to the lowest power setting. You may notice that wherever the charging station is at, the robot will start that path, continuing straight until it hits an object, then it will rotate 180 degrees and go the other direction to create a back and forth shaping motion. Both robots will try to do a back and forth motion to cover the entire room and then it will finish the cleaning cycle with a edge clean sweep. Despite the i7 knowing the layout of this room, it still does a lot of bumping around. Roombas are known to bump to help them navigate. That's just part of their routine. I like the i7's edge cleaning ability. It does a really good job, especially for the longer brush. Uh, the only downside is it's, I would like the i7 to spend a little bit more time on the edges kind of goes a little too quickly and misses a lot of spots. The S9 is a little bit slower, more methodical, and I think it does do a better job at the edge cleaning. One thing you probably notice is that the Roomba i7 went out of frame for a bit. It's actually going to the bottom left and cleaning into a new area. I set the line in the smart maps to the bottom of the frame of the camera, but both the Roomba i7 and S9 didn't really follow that line. They kind of veered off into a new area, but they eventually made it back into the kitchen. Okay, let's see how well the S9 does. So I thought the S9 would keep going straight like the i7 did and make complete rows, but instead it just kind of did a U-turn and went the other direction. I don't know if this was a software bug, I'll look into it and let you guys know. I checked the smart map and there was no line right there, so it should have just had a clear open area in the kitchen. We'll see how long the Roomba S9 took. Next part is the navigation test.
the S9 decided to take the long route around, even though taking a quick right would have been a shorter distance to the charger. Um, it's always doing this, always liking to take the longer route, whereas the i7 took the shorter path. But what's funny is they both reached their charger at the same time. Now my ears started to hurt after both self-emptying dustbins went off at the same time. I do not recommend doing this at home. Thanks for watching and hit that like button and if you haven't already done so, subscribe to my channel. Thanks!